All right, guys, today is the day that this thing, I'm, I'm gonna swap it out with that thing. Essentially, they're the same. It is a tankless water heater. For some reason, this thing has not been working. Um, I don't believe it's a manufacturer defect. I believe it's because it's been outside for a while, even though it is an outside unit. And I just think that it was maybe damaged by the water. I don't know. It's driving me crazy. I haven't had a shower since this thing was built a year ago. It's beyond time. So I'm hoping that this new Camp Lux uh, does a trick. So let's get to work. Step one complete. Let's have a look at the electronic or the uh, uh, ignition thing here for the switch. Clearly it's <laughs> not functioning. That could be the problem right there. What is in the box is a uh, regulator hose. These are uh, different size adapters. Uh, if you remember the trouble that I had with the last heater, uh, those did not come with the kit. Also, you got pipe thread, um, a little quick release for the water, which goes into an included um, shower head, which I'm not gonna use because I have this cool mowing one right here. Um, already, this has a lot more instructions to it um, a very simple design and hopefully this is gonna be my permanent solution one thing to note this is the bottom you can see inside there are some uh, little electrical wires uh, I don't know why this is so open in here water can easily get inside and damage this whole unit which is why I'm gonna use a backpack cover when I'm driving go next step uh, I got the original uh, hose which was a little bit shorter uh, here's the connections are the same distance uh, same pattern uh, this thing I'm just gonna try and bend it down a little bit to, to fit with the correct height the even height of this thing so let's go ahead and uh, let's try and install this okay so this is what's going on we're gonna have to recut a piece of pipe I'd measured we're gonna have to have it um, an inch and a quarter longer hose from here. By the way, Jason's helped me out, thanks dude. No problem. Here we go. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, this is the correct size, I hope, of uh, propane hose. Let's give it a whirl. Fine. That's Pablo, thank you Pablo for your help. No problem, have to tell you. All right, check this out guys. We got this all mounted. The propane hose is the finally the correct length. I do have to put some batteries uh, right here. That is the uh, battery powered, uh, uh, pilot ignition as you can see I have uh, yellow tape that is not plumbing tape that is a special gas tape uh, you can use it on water but you can't use the water on the gas uh, that is where the sh hot water comes out so that'll be uh, connected let's uh, give this thing a whirl I got everything set up here uh, as well as there's a connection there and up top I zip tied the Hoses together. Let's uh, let's see if this sucker is gonna work. Um, step one: it needs water pressure. Oh, oh! There's heat coming out here. Whoa! There's water everywhere. Woo! A little windy. I did smell a little hint of propane. Uh, let's set this thing up for a real shower and let's test this thing. Woo! Boy, that is a hot ass shower. Oh, I'm in love. I love this so much. Woo! Woo! Oh my god, that feels so good. It's been a year. One year waiting for this god dang shower. But why is it cold now? So far, this thing is turning on and off. I have no idea why. If this thing is on max, uh, it seems to stay on longer, which is long enough for a warm shower. But I'm happy. It kind of works. <laughs> it's better than freezing cold water, that's for sure, especially in cold cold weather so um, I don't know if anybody knows how to fix this thing comment below. Mm -hmm. 